that shit and thank you so much for watching this video in this video i mean going all over my foundation routine everything from the foundation itself to setting powders to the concealers to the color correctors that i use pretty much all that of course i'm going to be applying it on my face as a demonstration and i'm going to be talking to you throughout the entire thing so i'm going to let you guys right now know disclaimer whatever this is just my foundation routine. This is not contouring and highlights. This is not brows. This is not my lips and eyes. This is strictly that. If I'm going to name something that, I want it to be strictly that only. I know I probably said that in the video in the past, but, you know, things change. More likely, I'm going to change in the future as well, so you never know. But for now, that's how I'm going to stick with it. So if you are interested in seeing what my foundation routine is, which is pretty much this, I went from zero to a freaking hero, then please keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching again. A quick little talk, chat through, whatever you want to call it, and let's just go ahead and get started with it, all right? So let me go ahead and pull out my trusty mirror and my trusty pointing to holder that's always on my wrist. Let's go ahead and put this back because I don't want any foundation all over my lion's mane. That would suck. All right, now that my fluffiness is back, let's go ahead and start off with some primer. I'm going to be using Maybelline's Baby Skin Primer. I really do like this primer, probably because of the consistency. I like how it feels on my skin. It comes out in like, um, I'm pretty sure you can barely see that. There you go, I guess. But it's like a really thick consistency. not really sure what to call it. I know the name of it, it's just not coming towards me. But it really does fill in your pores and stuff. And I absolutely, I've liked it ever since I used it. This is actually my first bottle of baby skin. And I've been using it a lot ever since. So I'm more than likely going to stock up on this whenever I need a really good drugstore primer. So I'm just moving this all over my skin. Making sure I don't miss any spots. Because my entire face is pretty porous. Especially around my cheeks, my nose, under my nose right here. A little bit on my forehead right here and on my chin. And sometimes I have like a pore around everywhere else that just wants to open up and be different. So, gotta, you know, fill those up. Next up, I have three NYX HD concealers. I have the one in lavender, I have the green one, and I have the yellow one. They're all color correctors, so the, as you can tell right now, I'm about to be color correcting my skin. And I'm about to show you how right now. One of them is trying to roll off. Okay, so I like to start off with either one. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to start off with the lavender one just because it was the first one in my hand. And I like to use this one on my cheek area to really help brighten that area up. My skin is not happy today. You can see all the blemishes and stuff. It's just not happy. It hasn't been happy all week. I just add a little bit on my chin and around my mouth area. In any place I see that has any darkness, I like to like spot at it some there. I don't see much going on, so bye-bye. Next, I'm going to get the green one right here. I'm going to open that up. And any place I see redness, which is usually a lot for me, just going to add a little bit right there. And this stuff is, I can tell you got some pigmentation to it, so it might be a little hard to blend out. You're going to see a green tint whenever you do blend it out. But of course, when you put your foundation concealer over, it's just gonna cover that up. You see me just dotting everything because I have so much redness and my acne just wanted to come back for some reason. I was doing great when it comes to my acne, but you can't have everything in the world. I'm guessing clear skin is for me. Next up, we have the yellow one, which is the last one of the three. I'm pretty sure they have more. I'm not really sure how to look at it, but I'll let you guys know in the description box. So I like to add this one under my eyes help brighten up those bluish purplish tones. Sometimes I like to use an orange but I don't have the orange one in NYX and I didn't feel like looking for an orange one so we're just gonna go with yellow. Yellow seems to work with me as well too. And that's pretty much all I put the yellow one at. Bye bye! Now I'm going to use a damp beauty blender in order to blend all this out and make the foundation and the concealer cover even better. I know that this is not a drugstore product, but in my opinion, I believe everybody should have at least one beauty blender in their makeup kit. Reason being because it's one versatile and amazing product. It's only 20 bucks. I'm pretty sure that it won't hurt you to spend that much on just a sponge. People tell me I'm crazy. I think it's a good bargain. So let's just go ahead and blend some of this out. 
I don't recommend blending these things together, but in the end result, it's all going to look the same. So, just do what you got to do, girl. And as you can see, I would also recommend blending these concealers out as soon as you put them on because they will, I guess, dry up a bit and it will be a lot harder to blend. So that's my bad for forgetting that. But that is what's recommended and I recommend you do that with these concealers. They are good concealers though, trust me. See, whenever this happens, I like to blend and smear a little bit. I recommend smearing up. I don't know why, but that's what I do. So, if there's something wrong about that, let me know. Don't quote me. Just a little bit of excess on my nose, because I get a little bit of redness there, too. If not a lot. <laughs> okay. I believe that's good enough. Now that we look like a clown, let's continue to the foundation. These two foundations right here are the two that I like to blend together to get my ideal shade because I'm kind of neutral, kind of cool tone, whichever one is yellow, um, but I'm not quite on the cool tone side, so it's a little bit in the middle, so I can't ever seem to find my ideal shade, so that's why I like to mix a lot. But this is the Wayne Wild Coverall Cream Foundation, and this is in the cover 817 Light, and this is the Silly Color Cosmetics Floss Foundation 3-in-1 Primer Concealer Foundation in Soft Beige. I like to add just a little bit of both, and then whenever I feel like I need more coverage, I just keep on adding more. Let me try to get this on camera. Add a little bit. Oh god, that's not a little. Oh god. I don't know if I should add that to the bloopers or not. And I think I'll just keep it. Okay, and for this one, it's kind of weird. Okay, you see this? I think it's like a weird dropper thing. <laughs> but you scoop it up, I'm guessing. And I like to like just dab it beside it. Usually I use my seal pan palette to put my foundation and paints and stuff on and mix it like that. But today I'm just going to be lazy and use the back of my hand. Because why not? I think I deserve it. I've been jogging a lot. So here you go. I think that's enough. I like to use a lot more of the yellow, which is the City Color City Color one, and a little less of the Wayne Wild one because it's a really, really warm, the Wayne Wild one. And as you can see, the City Color Cosmetics one, the one that's really runny, that one's a lot more yellow. And I feel like I'm a lot more on the yellowy side, so let's add a lot of that. And then mix two together. And sometimes I'll use a brush. Sometimes I use a beauty blender. For these two, I recommend a beauty blender. It just... I don't know. It's just... It makes my face look a lot more flawless than with a brush. I don't know why. I can't tell you why. I'm just guessing because sometimes I like to use a whole bunch of product when I shouldn't. And then the beauty blender, it just takes away some of the product that I don't even need. So thank you for that. It's a great creation. So since I have it mixed up and stuff, I'm going to just get some of it and swipe it all over my face just like this. Just pretty much until I have no product left on the back of my hand. Just random places because why not? I, I can see I'm just running out of spots here, so. With the other side of my beauty blender, the one without all the concealer on it, I'm going to start blending this foundation in. Like that. The only dabbing I do. You want to make sure that you get all the green, yellow, and lavender covered up. Because if you don't, that's just gonna, not gonna look really natural. And that's what I'm going for in this look, a natural, glowy look. Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, those foundations are not full, full coverage. They're light to medium. 
but you know it doesn't make me look like a Barbie doll but it doesn't make me look like Kim Kardashian either so you get what I'm saying right all right so I blended everything out and as you can see unless you can't I still have some green like right here 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 there like I told you it, it shows still so I'm gonna add a little bit more foundation both of you know them and put it on these areas and then we're going on to concealer alrighty I have it on there I'm just gonna blend it now that I have more coverage and all the stuff is cleared up we can move on to the concealer So next up we're going to use for concealer is the Maybelline is an age rewind. I like to use this under my eyes. Reason being is because it's the dark circle eraser thing. Can you see that? Okay, so I'm going to just dab it. Of course you have to twist it a couple of times. I don't know if I showed you that already. But just twist it a couple of times. If you first got it, it's going to take like maybe 20 twists in order for it to eventually come out. So I would like to dab it. I see a whole bunch of people. They like to just swipe it on. I can't stand that. I mean, feel free to swipe. I mean, if it works for them, then it works for them. But for me, I'm afraid that swiping is going to take off so much stuff that I've already put on my face. So I feel that dabbing won't. I mean, you dab your beauty blender, right? You don't swipe it. So that's my theory. I'm a conspirator. Trust me, I am. <laughs> All right. So that's good enough. Every now and then I like to bring it back here more than likely whenever I'm contouring and highlighting. That's going to be for another video though. So we're going to blend this out with the beauty blender again. I'm sorry if I can hear my siblings. They are pretty loud. I can tell you that right now. Make sure that there are no harsh lines. And that your inner eye area is pretty much perfect. Mine will never be because I have these darn tear troughs. But I can come close, right? Or I can only try. Looking good. Okay. So we still have more concealing to do. This is the Ulta Concealer Stick in Cool Light. Just going to twist this up some. And what I like to do with this is spot conceal. Anything that is still peeking through the foundation and stuff. I use this stick to cover it up. I say that this concealer covers up pretty well. There are some things that I can't cover up like these scars over here. I don't know why I'm even trying. Pretty much any little blemish I use this. It's a really Yeah, I wouldn't say really, but it's pretty good. I'm only giving my honest opinion. Okay. And for that, I'm also going to use my beauty blender, if you haven't guessed already. And blend it out. Everywhere I put it. That would only make sense. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for concealer. Now I'm about to powder myself. I'm going to be using for baking under the eyes. It's the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. And here you go. This is the translucent one. I like to take a beauty blender or a disposable sponge and dip it in here and bake. More than likely in later in the future I will be making a how to bake video. But for now, since I'm you no, know, just not coming back to YouTube, I think the how to's can come later. Technically, this is a how-to, I guess. Not too long ago, well, actually, it was kind of a long time ago. It was like two years ago. But, um, I used to bake with setting press powders. And I really like that. The reason why is because I really don't like using loose powders at all, even though they are really good when it comes to baking. Because I never found a good 
powder. Maybe because I've only used drugstore powders in my life. I need to start using high-end ones, I guess. But, um, not to be, you know, <laughs> dumping drugstore boost powders. Because, I mean, I love this one. I really do. It bakes like a dream. And it's really good when it comes to setting. My makeup always lasts for a very long time with it. And it's only a couple of bucks. But um, it's just the packaging. Because every time I get a loose powder, and with a powder I'm about to um, show y'all soon, and a one before it, and one before it, the packaging never kept the powder inside of it. Like, I could squeeze it shut for... A long time and never open it but I'm always finding powder in my bag or on my table or something like that and I don't know what to do I mean I guess I just should tape it or something but <sighs> I wish I knew but anyway to continue the tutorial so as you can see as I've been like yip yapping and stuff that I've been baking so what I did exactly was I got a whole bunch of powder just dipped it my beauty blender within the thing Pick some up and then I pressed it against my eyes. Now whenever you feel like you have enough, add some more, which is what I'm about to do. Because you need it. Trust me. Especially for all of us that have fine lines under the eyes or eye wrinkles or anything like that. This will hopefully and more than likely, you know, make them disappear. I don't know how, I don't know why. I like it and because I have fine lines. I've had them for a while now and I'm only freaking 19, but uh, like I said, I'm guessing perfect skin is one of the things I can't have. Go figure. Now, one thing I like to also do whenever it comes to baking is bake down in this area. Reason being is because it will give you some light down here. And it will make your cheekbone appear more prominent. And I like me having some prominent cheekbones, so... I don't add as much down here as I do up here, more than likely because I'm trying to just play with shading and lighting down here, when up here I'm actually trying to correct something, which would be my fine lines under my eyes. Okay, so that's enough for down here. I'm just going to let this sit for a little while and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so it's been about five minutes on my wrist and we're going to take this stuff off. One thing I like to do that I see some people that I don't do is that I like to get a foundation powder that is close to my skin tone or on my skin tone, of course. And I like to use that to buff this off and also set the rest of the face. This is the NYX Mineral Foundation Set It Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. And this is in medium dark. I know I don't look medium dark, but for some reason it matches my skin better than the light medium I guess I don't remember the other shade name to apply this stuff I'm going to be using the Studio Color Cosmetics CC F02 brush this is their one of their face brushes from their line and I honestly really love City Color it was one of the first brands I've ever used as you know an aspiring makeup artist before I actually started really getting into it and I was young and stupid and I didn't know what the heck what I was doing I had black eyebrows with pale lips and dark lip liner so yeah, it was that face. So I'm just going to dip my brush into it. Only grab a little bit. I do not want to lie because I don't want to look chalky. Because I'm balling on a budget right now and I don't have any setting spray. Setting spray, if you have that, feel free to put that stuff all over your face. But in moderation, do not go crazy because, you know, there's sometimes where setting sprays, it will fail on you. Sometimes. Not all the time. So don't quote me. Again. So I have some of it. I tapped off the access. I'm going to sweep it off. I'd rather you close your eyes because it will be easy for it to <coughs> get in there. I also recommend you keep your mouth shut so you don't inhale the powder. That's not good for you. I guess it's equivalent to you inhaling sawdust, which is definitely not good for you. So I'm going to tap just a little bit off, grab some more, all that good stuff. And I like to buff it all in like this. I don't like to sweep. Again, I'm not a swiping, sweeping type person. I will clean my house, of course, with a broom. But I don't do it on my face because I'm afraid that all the hard work I put onto my face will just come right off. So you won't be seeing me doing that. Yeah, just uh, put it everywhere. 
give my face a good set, a matte finish set, and also to put some color where the translucent powder was. Same thing for down here, under my chin, and on my neck, because off camera I did put some foundation on my neck. One of my pet peeves is that people, they have foundation on and their face does not match their neck, and it's just... I know makeup doesn't have any rules, but you know, there's just some things that bother people. That's one of mine. You have yours, I have mine. Okay, so setting is good. I like to check by touching my face. Don't do it. It's not sanitary. Unless, of course, your hands are clean, then feel free to put it all over your face. So, so far, so good. And this is pretty much my foundation routine. Of course, like I said earlier, this is just my foundation routine, which includes setting, foundation, concealer, color correcting, all that good stuff. Now, later on, I will be posting a, you know, a full in-depth type video of how I contour and highlight uh, that will be coming later. It will also include how I contour with creams, powders, liquids, all that good stuff. So, if you do want to see it, just please like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, everything that I use in this video, it will be in the description box below. And feel free to just watch every single video that I have and every single video that I post, even though I don't recommend it because those videos suck. So, thank you again for watching. I love you all. Bye-bye.